All right guys, so today I'm doing the uh, service bulletin for the updated fuel lines for uh, collapsed fuel lines on a Duramax. So this is a LMM. So this is, uh, as you see, there's a zip tie because this is already collapsed once. But uh, you have to update these to a Parker hose to eliminate that per the service bulletin by GM. So in order to do that, you gotta use a Dremel cutoff tool and you gotta go on this crimp fitting here and you slice it on one side and then you go 180 degrees on the back side, which will be a little more difficult up here, but I've already done the ones by the transmission, which I'll show you underneath. So this is the hose you'll use. It's a Parker hose. You should be able to get it at Napa or you know any other auto store. I ordered it online. Uh, but the service bulletin has the part number in it. It's just half inch almost like a hydraulic line pretty pretty big stuff so These are the crimp fittings you have to cut so here's an example So you cut it on each end kind of do a slit and then use a flathead screwdriver and you pry it off So this is the one by the transmission so <clears throat> per the service bulletin you want to replace the supply line and do two hose clamps per side so Sorry, I'm got to be pretty close up under here, but there's the updated style So before you start It's a good idea to disconnect the supply line from the fuel tank That way you don't get sprayed everywhere. So there's the supply line disconnected right there and then you could do your work down here to update that supply line. And this is what you get. So, like I said, there's the old one. And you're going to update it to this new style hose, which is a lot better. So, or bigger, this won't collapse under heat. So, this is the uh, service bulletin, like I said. Cut your... Uh, factory crimp fitting, but don't go too far. So I'll show you this ridge you want to stop Up here. You don't want to go too far or else you can damage the factory crimp on the on the line So you only want to go About three-quarters of the way up here and then use a flathead and then pry it apart and then pull it off so Like I said what will happen? I was having the P0087 code and that is uh, limp mode for low fuel rail pressure. And this is one of the fixes per GM, is to update the supply side line with a bigger line so they won't collapse. So if you're getting the limp mode error, the PO087 for low fuel rail pressure change fuel filter, try this uh, upgrade first per the GM service bulletin. It's online, you can find it a lot of places. And uh, that hopefully will fix your issue. If not, you could have a CP3 issue, injector issue. You know, you never know. It could be a lot of things. But So go ahead and try that first and, you know, see what happens. Hopefully this helps you guys out. All right, see you later.